Hello everyone. This is Amber Two Thousand here. Welcome to my channel. Well, I play a variety of games and do new relations for fanfics. I'm really hoping you, you enjoy my content. If you do, make sure to comment below. Leave a like and subscribe with the notifications on. Right, until next time, this is Amelie2000. Welcome to my channel. So, hi. Things aren't always as they seem. Chapter 17 Trust drove in about to the grocery store so she could pick up some groceries to cook for dinner and back to her apartment. I'm always dressed her legs and yarn, popping traps to laugh. You're getting lazy on me, baby girl! Back in the day, you weren't this lazy! She's been on the one constantly. So she can rest as much as he wants. Annabelle remarked, putting away the groceries, save for the ones for dinner. The season side was ravioli, her favorite dinner. That reminds me. Tomorrow I'm gonna get some stuff for dropping a dog. You just get your your ex boyfriend arrested for hurting you. And the first thing that comes to mind is you want a dog? Trust but wheezy and eyebrow. And about chuckled. Well, it's for two reasons. One, for companionship, as it gets lonely here. Two, for Christian, since Martha, since Martha, <laughs> since Amala's such a good dog, dog, god dog. Yeah, she is. Charles not in agreement. So you gonna get a big dog? Hmm. Maybe medium size. I checked. And this apartment will only allow medium sized dogs. About a mother's age size. There's an elder shelter on the wet hand. So that's a good place to start. So he made enough for two people, so Trask was able to have some dinner as well. Annabelle even placed a little bit of ravioli on a paper plate for Amara. While they were washing the dishes, the phone rang. Trask stretched for Annabelle to get it. So he wiped her hands dry on a towel and picked up the phone. Hello? Annabelle Waters! Why did you not tell us? Her aunt screamed. Why did you not tell us you were being abused by that man? She hold the phone away. Listening to her aunt's answer a loud voice, Trust cockled lightly, hearing her aunt, her aunt from the voice. Annabelle showered him and hold the phone back to her, her ear. Evelyn, it was only today that it happened. How you, how, how you and, and uncle find out? Trust asked, drying off his hands with a towel. Annabelle hold her hand over the mouthpiece of the phone and answer the virus. I had to give my child her garden and names and number at the HPD. She so returned to the phone. I went over to Jason's to break up with him and he, he opposed to me. But I refused. What? You refuse? Annabelle, how could you? You never get a chance at mirrors. What? How can you say that? Annabelle's stream, feeling a very hurt, despite the statement not being not being really new. There are probably other guys who like me. Besides, I'm not ready to think about mirrors. Peter and I were married when we were your your age. I don't care. I'm not you. I'm not, I'm my own person. I'm always sat in Annabelle's feet and laid her hand, head on her leg. Annabelle petted the hyena as she listened to the, a background a conversation on the phone. Hang on, Annabelle. 
Your uncle wants to talk to you. Evelyn said, sounding a little desperate. Okay, put him on. Annabelle said. So he turned to trash again. My uncle is much easier to talk to. He nodded. Remember Annabelle had said her uncle was much less judgmental and critical than her aunt. Hello? Her uncle said. Hi, Uncle Pete. Annabelle greeted. I'm guessing the HPD told you what happened. They sure did, Bunny Rabbit. Pony that you were hurt. And Jason was arrested for dramatic violence. Breaking and airing intentionally conduct to some officers. What all happened? I had been thinking and, that this, and decided that Jason, Jason wasn't the right guy for me. She sat in the couch, still talking. Trash sat down next to her, and them all lay on the floor at their feet. I went over to his house today to break up. When I got there, he proposed to me. I did crying. Both because I was praying to break up with him in the first place, and because I felt two months of dating was kind of short to decide on marrying someone. Yeah, I can agree. How you take it? You were right. Some people don't take breakups easily. You grabbed my arms and slammed me against the wall and smacked me in the face. I managed to get away though. Why was he doing that? She could sense the hand of anger towards Dyson. He was angry, I, I suppose. He was accusing me of cheating on him and it went, went traps. He's that virus fellow, isn't he? Yeah, he is. As he went into his home, luckily he, Ozzy, and Driss were there. I told him what happened, then Jason came bursting in. And further accused me of cheating on him. He also called Trash a red freak, and Ozzy Driss crowns. Ah, so that was the disorderly conduct and breaking and anyway. I assume the dramatic violence was against you. Yep. Jason was arrested a few minutes after. Trash shocked him a good across the face. She so laughed at the memory and Trash smiled as well. Peter was laughing too. I guess that means I don't have to to was he convicted? Yep. Six years. Well, the chief said he may be at least a few years older. If he has good behavior. Well, at least he's in prison. The HPD also said you had to do some tests regarding your heritage. Yeah, Jason found out about my claws and said I was a virus. I couldn't lie to the immunity. But luckily, I'm not dangerous towards Hector. I'm glad too, dear. Are you alright? I'm fine. Trash is actually here with me. I want with his hyena. Ozzy insisted on an officer staying overnight at my place. And Trash volunteered right, right, right away. That was kind of him. May I speak with him? Um, sure. She so had the phone. He wants to talk with you. She so explained. Uh-oh. Trash joked. He held the phone to his ear. Hello? Is this Trash... The virus turned vaccine, a slightly gulf man asked. This is he. I haven't met you yet, son, but I just want you to know that I appreciate all you and your friends have done for my niece. Make nothing of it. Me and my friends are really good friends with Annie and her friends. The one, Jones, is actually dating Martha Cried. I know Martha very well. Jones is like a male Martha, <laughs> Travis chuckled. But anyway, I guess I... He got at where Annabelle was, but she was gone. She turned his head... He turned his head to see her head to the bathroom, bedroom with a pair of shorts and a tank top in hand. So he must be getting ready for bed. I guess I'm gonna look closer to Annabelle. Ah, you like her, don't you? Peter cheese. Yeah, I guess so. See, uh, see, about the only girl I ever really fell in love with. Well, 
She must be special to you. She certainly is a one-of-a-kind young lady. Do you think you two will spend life with each other? Trash quick his chief and fought, crossing one leg over the other. I honestly haven't really fought on that. Especially given the situation that had that happened earlier today. Peter made a noise of agreement. How old are you, Trash? If you don't mind me asking. Thirty two. Too old for your innies? Peter laughed. I like you, son. You got a good sense of humor. No, I don't think you're too old for her. After all, she's 26. Well, it was nice talking to you. I don't want to keep you since it's getting late. I just want to say goodnight to Annabelle before I hang up. Sure. Just nodded. He looked over his shoulder as Annabelle came out of the bathroom. Your uncle wants to tell you goodnight. He handed her the phone and stood up, stretching his arms. Hello? You didn't entertain him, did you? And Annabelle laughed. So, you like him? That's great! Yeah, he's a guy sense of humor. He takes a charmer, too. Well, good night. Tell him when I said good night. Love you, too. Bye. So you hung up the phone. So, you impressed my father figure. Ah. Quite an accomplishment, big guy. She smirked. I'm an accomplishment man, baby. Trash again. I think I'm gonna hit the man brain, too. Alright. Good night. Annabelle said, turning to her bedroom. But paused and looked back. Oh, and trash. Hmm? Huh? Thanks for today, she smiled shyly. No problem, Annie, he smiled back. No problem. He turned away to arrange the pillows on the couch so it would be more comfortable. Annabelle had insisted he stripped in a wheel bed and she stripped on the couch. But he said he stripped on the couch on a regular basis in anyway. And this would be no different. Before he settled in for the night, Trust snuck over to Annabelle's bedroom and peeked in. It was dimly lit by a, a, a lamp, P purple lava lamp on on the, the nightstand. Annabelle was already in bed, dressed in the clothes he he saw her take into her, into her bedroom earlier. Her head was on the pillow, and her left arm was under the pillow. The comforter was over her and ended up ended under her shoulder. She looked very peaceful. Just trust kneeled by the bedside and gently kissed her temple. Good night, Annabelle, he whispered before standing and leaving the room. Hi hi everyone. This is Emma two thousand again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Cause you know I, I really did enjoy making it. But so I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe with the notifications on down below. Till next time, bye.